come back Your dreams were your ticket I Welcome back To that same old place That you laughed about Well the names have all changed Since you hung around But those dreams have remained And they've turned Good morning Maple Shade Elementary School Happy Monday, welcome back Maple Shade, welcome back Jay, Jay, how are you doing today? You guys are doing better than good, kid. You just had a vacation. How are you doing? Fantastic. That is great to hear. So happy to hear that. Glad to be here with you today. Glad to be back here at Maple Shade. I was going nuts over vacation. I didn't know what to do with my time because I missed you all so much. And here we are back at it again to get into the swing of things to kick off the second half of our school year. So here we go. We're going to get right back into the swing of things by rising for the Pledge of Allegiance. Jade, you want to help out? Let's do it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Great job, Jay. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so this is important, Jay. When you go home, what I'm talking about right now, I want you to put it on your calendar. Okay? okay. It's a big deal what I'm about to talk about next. It's the first time you're hearing about it. All right, so I want you to lock in this date, Wednesday, March 15th. That is a big day. That's a big, big day for Maple Shade. And this is why I expect to see all of you there. Mark it on your calendars right now. Over vacation, we rested up, but now it's time to shake off that vacation and start to sweat out all of that Valentine's Day chocolate. We are gonna be gearing up. That's right, we are getting ready for our staff versus staff volleyball game at the high school on March 15th. I expect to see everyone there. Your two teams are the Space Sharks versus the Dark Knights, all right? And I, listen, I need to be somewhat like objective here. I can't pick sides even though I am the captain of the Space Sharks. And even though I am trying to like remain neutral, I just gotta say, I mean, I, I, there's no way. I cannot see the Dark Knights pulling off a victory here. Not when they're stacked up against the roster from the Space Sharks, but the only way we're going to find out is if you are there on Wednesday, March 15th at 6 o'clock. Make sure you get there by 6 o'clock at the high school to see it go down. The victory, we're going to claim it right now. Space Shark's going to take a bite out of them dark nights. Can't wait to see all of you there. Fifth grade students, uh, this week, this is how it's going to work. First lunch um, will be twenty room, homeroom 20 and 18. And then second lunch will be homerooms 15, 17, and 19. Okay, so don't forget, Jade, it's almost the end of February. We're going to be looking at March before we know it. But we're still in February, and February is Black History Month. Black history is our history. It's a shared part of everyone's history here. So um, today, talking about the Queen of Soul herself. Aretha Franklin. We're going to have Levi, Aria, and Kyle and Kylie talking to us about the accomplishments and why we need to know all about Aretha Franklin. Today we celebrate the Queen of Soul herself, Aretha Franklin. Aretha Louise Franklin was born in Memphis, Tennessee on March 25, 1942. Her family soon relocated to Detroit, Michigan, where her father, Reverend C.L. Franklin, became a minister at New Bethel Baptist Church. Reverend Franklin was a prominent gospel performer in his own right and his career exposed his daughter to gospel and soul music and to civil rights leaders such as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and contemporary or future musical icons such as Smokey Robinson, Sam Cooke, Clara Ward, and Bobby Blue Bland. Aretha Franklin, Aretha Franklin recorded her first album at the age of 14, The Gospel Sound of Aretha Franklin, while singing in New Bethel and going on tours with her father. In 1960, she signed, she signed with Columbia Records. In 1966, Franklin signed the Atlantic Records, which gave her more creative control, and she get, began revolutionizing soul music by creating a sound all her own. By 1968, Aretha Franklin was considered a symbol of black pride in soul music. Her songs, Respect, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, Young, Gifted, and Black, and Think became anthems of time and continue to resonate. resonate today. Franklin received an award for excellence from Dr. Martha Luther King. 
1967 and appeared on the in 1967 and appeared on the cover of Time Ma magazine on June 28, 1968. In 2001, she wowed the audience across the globe with her performance in VH1's D Divas. Divas Live in one and only Aretha Franklin. In, in 2009, she sang My Country, Tis of Three, at President Barack Obama's in inauguration. Michael was the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She had the largest number of top 40 singles of any female performer, also the youngest recipient, recipient of the John F. Kennedy Center Honors. Over her career, Franklin won 17 Grammys and had a 20 number one R&B hit. In 1967 album, I Never Loved a Man the Way I Love June is considered the greatest soul album of all time. Well, in 1971, Aretha White has been playing the roles of the top five greatest black albums of the black era. Though she is no longer with us, her contributions to music and culture echo through generations and continue to resound to the state. Thank you guys, that was fantastic. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. That means that we're gonna be listening to our teachers at all times, that's what we are doing. Okay, so, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, I have that for the following two individuals who have just raised the bar so high. That is right, I am so excited, Jade. I'm excited to give these two certificates to the next two members, the newest members of our 100% club. That would be Ryan Manley and Aiden Trong. Come on over here, Ryan, Aiden, I am in the presence of greatness. Hold it up so everyone can see it. Congratulations, guys, for joining the 100% club on ST Math. You guys are working hard. Gigi is proud of you. We are all proud of you. Jade is proud of you. Everyone is proud. So keep up the hard work on your ST Math. If you are not part of this club yet, I know you want to be in. These are the VIPs. I know that you want to be in on this. So do what you got to do. Keep on working hard on ST Math. All right, guys, you can exit that way. Exit to the gift shop. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's see. Jade, um, we have talked about the 100 club. Oh, so this is exciting. This is really exciting. Do you like Batman? Okay. Do you like this Batman right here? Yeah. Does it creep you out that he doesn't have anything in his head? No. Okay, that's good. All right. Well, actually, looking in his head, I do see some stuff in his head. I see some paper. And on those paper are names. And I would like for you to pull out two names from Batman's head. Miss Berrios. Mrs. Berrios! Oh, congratulations, Mrs. Berrios, for your coffee. And up next... Miss Ty. And Miss Ty. Mrs. Berrios and Miss Ty. All right, what a great way to come back from vacation. Um, you will have coffee on the house tomorrow morning. How exciting. I am so happy for all of you. Okay, so let's see. Up next, Jade, we have some birthdays. We've got some birthdays coming up. I know that we all love a good birthday. So happy birthday to... Rose Racine, Bella Rosado, Mrs. Pardo... Jackson Foy, uh, Mason Mayu, Charlotte Bader, Jacob Goddard, Kelsey McGrady, and Mark Germain. Happy birthday, everyone. I hope that you have the best birthday ever because you deserve it. That's why. All right. Jade, what is your favorite cartoon in the, in the universe? Tom and Jerry. Tom, are you serious? I did not expect you to say Tom and Jerry. Do you really watch Tom and Jerry? Like old school Tom and Jerry. Which one's the cat? Tom is the cat, and Jerry is the mouse. Yeah. Is, is the, do you know why Tom is trying to get Jerry? Is there ever a reason? The cat's like mice. That's, that's the reason. Okay, it's not like, it's not like the, the, the mouse, and the mouse is Jerry? Yeah. Okay, so it's not like Jerry ever, like, did anything to Tom other than just existing? And sometimes he's a little terrible. Oh, so, so Jerry's a little instigator. Yeah. Okay, so he's instigating and saying, okay. I have not watched Tom and Jerry for a lot. I thought for sure you were going to talk about Bluey. I thought we were going to have a moment. We were talking about Bluey. Um, 
But Tom and Jerry, I learned something else about you. Um, but Bluey, guys, if you are watching Bluey, Bluey is the show. Any Bluey heads back here? Connor? Brayden? Ava, you watch, you watch Bluey? Yeah. See, Bluey's where it's at, all right? Um, anytime I get a chance to talk about how great that show is, we're going to talk about Bluey. All right, so if you have not watched Bluey, check it out. It's, it's for everybody. Okay, um, so let's see. Jade, we talked about calendars. We talked about volleyball. We talked about recess. We talked about Black History Month, the 100 Club, birthdays, coffee. We talked about Tom and Jerry. So that has to, that's a lot. That's a lot. And that has to be all that there is to talk about, right? Yeah. You're saying there's something else? Yeah. I don't think so. On my list, that's like it, right? The joke of the day. The joke of the day every time! Okay, do you have a joke by any chance? Because I did not come prepared. Yeah. You have a joke. Okay, so what's, what's the joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? Dewey. Dewey who? Yes, Jade, we have school today. We're here in school. We have to make sure that we stay in school. That's a good knock-knock joke. Knock-knock, you're all here. That's, that's a knock-knock joke. All right, thank you, Jade. Thank you, everyone. I hope that you had a good vacation. Um, I'm sure that you uh, had fun twice. Now you're gonna work hard twice to have fun twice. So make sure that you do everything that you're supposed to do, that your teachers are telling to you. Um, make sure that you make the right decisions, and then, only then, can you have fun twice.